go to the file, open examples, TurboCAD files, car. This is going to be our example file we will use to demonstrate rendering. All right, now let's go to the tools, photo render, and let's bump this up to 64 by 64 so we can see the icons better and just click render and see what we get with our default rendering. Our default rendering includes some default lighting and default background. And it basically uses all the colors based on your preset, whether you're using mechanical, jewelry, or architectural. All right, let's go ahead and change some of these materials. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Select tool, select Similar. I'm going to pick the red outer body, and it's going to grab all the red bodies. And now we're going to go to the materials and we're going to make the outer body metal and I'm going to change the color to a steel blue. I like blues. And then after we select it, make sure you hit apply. And then next we're going to change our wheels uh, to a chrome. So let's do the same thing. Let's select all the same colored uh, items and then go to the materials, select metals. And this time we'll select a chrome metal preset. Hit apply. And now we're going to change the halt time to 15 seconds. This is one of several ways that you can set a sample based render. And now we're going to go to the backgrounds and we're going to set that to a white. And finally, we're going to go to our denoiser and we will use that to filter out some of the fireflies in the model. Now let's uh, orientate our view and let's make it large in the screen. And then finally, let's hit uh, render. Now, there's three ways in which you can uh, halt your rendering. One is by a fixed time. Another is by the number of samples. And then the third one is a uh, halt threshold, which determines the change of rate of pixels in your rendered image.